Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here, joined by official assistant to the channel, Leo the French Bulldog. We are on location in his back of the couch nest here in the living room, and uh, it's been a while since we did a Rippin' with Leo installment, so we're going to get to that today. We have four packs of goodness to get through, a little bit of Junk Wax baseball, some Junk Wax hockey, and even a random soccer pack to get to, and we're going to just start with the hockey here. This is maybe the most printed set of all time, the 1990-91 Pro Set Hockey release. Uh, they made about a million of these, maybe more. Um, big draw here would be getting the Stanley Cup hologram card, which you have you know, basically a snowball's chance in hell of uh, pulling out of a pack. I've never pulled one to this day, even though I've opened probably, I would say, 8 to 10 wax boxes of Pro Set at this point. I inherited, I think, a case from my dad. That he had saved from back in the day and uh not a hologram in sight to date but let's see what we get in this pack so we got a mario marowa for the quebec nordique and leo is into the smell of the 90 pro set for sure yari curry there we go first hall of famer of today's rips uh gretzky's right hand man and setup man yari curry loved him growing up still like him as a player so that's a great card there craig ludwig for the canadians am i blocking you out buddy Leo is not happy about losing uh, his screen time here for the 90 Pro set. Dave McElwain for the Jets. We got a King Clancy Memorial Trophy. So I love trophy cards, and I wish we would get these in modern sets. Um, really more so for hockey, where the trophies are more notable, but I'd like to see the, the baseball trophies as well. Got a Sergei Makarov, Rookie of the Year. Um, this is kind of a cool card because he was... Um, I guess a contested rookie of the year because he was a lot older when he migrated over here. And I forget the exact specifics, but essentially he is responsible for the clause uh, where you need to be a certain age now. I think it's, you know, under 25 years old or something like that uh, to win the rookie of the year. So kind of a neat card in that respect. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, Sergey was a 32 year old uh, when, this, when this card came out. So you can kind of see why the NHL had to make some adjustments there. We got Brent Ashton for the Jets. I think we're focusing more on Leo here than on the, the hockey cards, which is probably better when it comes to 90 Pro Set. Tommy Albaline got a backwards all-star card here of Pierre Turgeon. Uh, love the Stuart Gavin Minnesota North Stars card here. They had one of the best sweaters and logos of any team going back in the day. Mark Osborne with the Leafs. There's the base card of Sergei Makarov. So we got the Rookie of the Year and the base. Uh, Mikel Pavanka for Washington. Got a nice Brett Hull All-Star card. Of course, his father, uh, Bobby, uh, famously uh, just passed away a little while before I shot this video. Doug Bodger for the Sabres. And then we got the Pro Set 10 cents off coupon card that you get in every pack. So honestly, not much doing in the Pro Set pack other than the Yari Curry. Uh, let's take a look at this next, 1991 Tops Traded. So I think this might have been the first year that these traded cards were issued in pack form um, after being like small box sets throughout the 80s. So I'm uh, not sure who the best players are to pull out of here as far as rookies. I know there's like a Robbie Alomar, uh, his first Toronto Blue Jays card. Um, I don't exactly think this set is chock full of star power, but let's see how we do. We got Scott Sanderson for the Yankees. Uh, Leo loves the smell of old-fashioned cardboard. He is into these. Scott Sanderson. Doug Simons for the Mets. A little bit of stickage here on his card. Wally Backman. Look, look at that facial expression. That is not a super flattering card. He's got as many chins there as Leo has. How about a Steve Farr? Rock Reigns. Okay, so at least we get a Hall of Famer in this pack. Tim Raines, and I love that they actually denote him as Rock on the card. That's fantastic. And then Gary Carter, the kid. So how about that? We finish off, you know, what was a very dull start to the pack with two Hall of Famers uh, to kind of salvage that. And then a Red Sox card as well in Danny Darwin. Interesting photo there. Bullpen warm-up shot. Probably spring training, like a chain link fence in the background there. So not too bad. Couple Hall of Famers out of what is a, a very small pack. Uh, let's do the soccer pack next, and then I have kind of a unique baseball item that you don't really see. Um, so this pack is from the 2008 Euros, uh, a tournament that occurs every four years opposite the World Cup. 
And these were put out by Panini. This is actually a game. These are like game cards that you can play with these, um, but they do look very close to uh, normal trading cards. You can get some great stuff in here. Uh, guys like Ronaldo, Luka Modric, um, players of that ilk, they have, they have acetate cards uh, in a subset. So let's see how we do here. We got the giveaway card. We've got a uh, Manish from Portugal, and I may mispronounce some of these names. Um, I am a soccer fan now, and I have been for over a decade, but I was not uh, a big fan of the game back in 2008, so these guys are going to be strange to me in some cases. Uh, we got a Marius Yop for Poland. Christopher Leitgeb. I'm not sure if that's Austria. Uh, next, we got Eduardo da Silva. That's, I believe, a Greece card, if I'm not mistaken. Team Greece. And then check it out. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Here's the, the last base card, Olaf Melberg. Uh, but here is one that I recognize, and this is probably going to go down as uh, the best card of today's rip. Um, it's a little bright, so you almost can't see the name behind here. But this is Thierry Henry. And a beautiful acetate card here for France. Look at that with the logo, the Euro logo spiraling in the background. Um, one of the greatest soccer players of his era and a guy who is very underrepresented uh, in my soccer collection. So actually, I, I wouldn't have predicted this uh, heading into the rip, but this will probably go down as the single best or my favorite card that I pulled here today. And then let's close it out with this oddball baseball item. So some of you may recognize these Topps All-Stars Double Headers. So these came out in 1989. I remember having these as a kid in my room. Uh, picking these up at the hobby shop. And what it is, it's a little plastic stand or display that has a dual-sided mini card. And on one side, it'll feature the player's 89 tops base card. And on the other side, their rookie card, which is kind of cool. Um, here's the checklist on the back. Uh, Leo's, we got a mail delivery coming here. Probably some new cards being dropped off at uh, Shoebox Legends headquarters. He likes to supervise the mailman. Here's your checklist on the back. Yellow is AL, blue is NL. Uh, I distinctly remember having uh, the Will Clark from this when I was a kid. He was my favorite player. Um, I think I bought a wax box of these back in 2008 when I first got into the hobby. Completely forgot that I had a few of these packs left, and I found them actually during my basement flood in the fall and preserved them uh, to be ripped on the channel. So let's see who we have here today. And it is none other than New York Met Daryl Strawberry. So there's his 89 release. This is, again, a little plastic stand that you could stand these up in your, your hobby room or your bedroom when you're a kid. So there's the 89 strawberry. And then if you flip it over, you've got the 83 tops traded strawberry on the other side. So kind of a neat Daryl strawberry display there. Just an odd item for a Mets fan. I don't think these are really would really be considered cards, uh, but they take me right back uh, to my childhood, you know, sitting in my bedroom reading uh, baseball statistic books and, you know, having a few of these out on the shelf. Um, so pretty cool item there. Uh, other than the strawberry, I think the highlights for today were obviously the uh, the Yari Curry card out of the hockey pack. Uh, out of the baseball, we saw uh, Tim Raines and Gary Carter for their 91 traded cards. And then again, my favorite overall card in today's break, Thierry Henry, the acetate Panini Euro card from 2008. So pretty fun break. Uh, Leo, as usual, was a, a really good sport today, so we're going to reward him with his Milk Bone Mini uh, for his job as his assistant, as our, our assistant, I should say, in today's rips. Here's your Milk Bone Mini, buddy. And uh, that's going to be a wrap. We certainly appreciate you stopping by to join us uh, on this Rippin' with Leo installment. We will be back in the very near future with some more Rippin' with Leo and just overall sports card content. Till then, stay safe, everybody, and enjoy the hobby.